Hey guys, Hello Bella here. This is going to be a short video. I'm going to take you with me to the thrift store and show you how I pulled out about $125 profit, but really conservatively, $100 profit with a $11 investment in about one hour. So this thrift store is the closest thrift store to my house. It's usually the one that I frequent the most because I just know it really well and I can tell when things are new. The prices here are really affordable, $1 to $1.50 for paperbacks and hardbacks. I always check the nonfiction section and I also check the uh, religious section. I did find this uh, Jerusalem Bible and I looked it up by scanning it on the Amazon seller app and it's going for about $80 on Amazon and about $50 on eBay. So either way, I think I'll be able to get at least $50 and I only paid $1.50 for this item. A lot of people think that you need a barcode or an ISBN number to look up a book on Amazon, but you can simply scan the part that I'm showing you right now and if it, Amazon can find it it will pop up. That's what I did for this one and this one was actually selling for around $80 on Amazon. It's got a rank around 2 million so not a horrible rank at all. I'm very comfortable picking this up for $1.50 and these two books alone are probably worth over $100 profit but I did find a few more in this particular store. In my experience, some of the religious books have been the best-selling books that I've ever been able to flip on Amazon. There's some that are extremely rare, and there's just some that aren't printed a lot. They only sold in, like, Christian bookstores, so I'm always on the look for religious books. Switching gears here, I went down the craft aisle. This aisle is kind of like filled with junk, but sometimes things slip by. This was a Flashmaster learning tool, and this is like an old school multiplication device, and this was in a craft bag with school supplies in it, and they wanted $5 for the bag, and I looked up the comps on eBay, and unfortunately it was only selling for around $20 on eBay, so I just had to let that one go. One thing that I want you new people to realize is that you don't need to know what everything is. You don't need to know every category. There's a lot of people who specialize in things, but for me, I've just kind of always been an all over the place type of reseller and I use my phone to look things up. I don't have an intense knowledge of every single thing on the market. I just use the eBay seller app and I use the Amazon seller app. So as long as you've got your phone with you, there's really no reason that you can't be as successful as these other resellers. I think a lot of being successful in reselling is just about being consistent and showing up over and over again. So this is a Brother Toner, and I got really excited when I saw this. This was uh, something that, you know, we usually would bring a lot of money, but they wanted $19.99 for this, so $20 for this, and the comps on eBay were only around $50, so I had to let another one go. That's the bad thing about shopping at these bigger thrift stores. They usually price things a lot higher, and then they will put them at a discount. So that was one I had to leave behind. And then here we have another one. This was P90X. And I got excited to see this, but they wanted $20 for it. I've sold a lot of copies of this P90X fitness set. This is like a fitness program. But for $20, or actually $40, wow, it just was not worth it. Usually I always pop through the clothing just to kind of see if there's anything that is interesting or anything that I want. I did like this Alabama shirt, but man, I had to resist the urge to buy yet another gray t-shirt. I have so many already. Here's a Guinness shirt from Ireland. I actually went by the Guinness place when I was in Ireland. And then we've got a Garfield shirt. I looked up the comps on this, but it was only around $15 to $20. And that was for one that's in really good condition. And this one was not. Next up, we have a Zelda t-shirt. This was only 99 cents and I debated getting it but as you can see it's pretty faded and it's got a lot of like pieces of fuzz on it so I just did not want to fool with that either. The last item that I found was this lens cap for a camera and I kind of got inspired by another YouTuber that I was watching. He was going over some camera equipment and I'm not really comfortable with selling stuff like this but it was new in the package and they only wanted two dollars for it and it was selling for $19.99 on Amazon, so I'm going to sell that as like new on Amazon. Now, I'm not really comfortable selling camera equipment. I'm not super familiar with it, but as you can see, it's kind of like one of those things that there's a lot of like what you would call dead technology or dead tech, and that's just stuff that, you know, nobody's really using anymore. People are donating it, but there's a cult following for some of these brands, some of these boom boxes. You've got uh, VCRs, you've got DVD players, and all of these things can be resold. So I did notice that as I was leaving the thrift store, they are really clearing off some space i'm not sure what they're getting ready to do they may be getting ready to do some holiday things but one thing that is good when you go to the same thrift store over and over again you notice the changes so you can see when things are being moved around so that would be my tip is to go to the same places over and over again but here's my final haul for today guys easy hundred dollars possibly even 150 but we'll just say 100 to 125 dollars profit here and only took me an hour so that's why it's definitely worth it to stop in 
After that, I went home and got some packages ready to ship out, but I hope you guys enjoyed this like short form content video. I'm trying to do more of kind of a day in the lifestyle video. So yeah, if you like it, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel. I will catch you guys in the next one.